just for you, God. Everything inside of me is calling out for you. It's calling out for you. When shall I come and appear before you, my God? Are you here? You hear, you hear my every cry, and you see, you see everything I go through. Oh God, you are ever present. You are ever present in my life. So open.
you break into this heart and I'm overcome with so much fear and doubt sometimes I just need you to just break in break into my heart Jesus so let the living water rush into my heart Would you break into my heart? Would you break into my heart? And let the rushing river, rushing river flow in and through me. Mm. Oh God, break into my heart. Break into
Oh uh-huh. 
speaks a better word. Your love 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 speaks a better word. Your blood speaks a better word.
with doubt or anything that's it was wearing us down where really the tears have been my food day and night um, if there was a certain uh, area of your life that you have been contending for speak these words over it hope is rising up there's nothing impossible for the lord i want to give you guys some time to pray and to just declare these words over it Every area of your life, over yourself, over your family, over your workplace, wherever God has given you to influence those that are around you, I want to just challenge you and encourage you to speak these words over it. Hope is rising.
for who we are and why we are doing what we do is for you. We cannot do these things on our own, but it is by your love, grace, and power that enables us. We praise you with all our being and confess that you are our Lord. Our devotion belongs to you. Okay, we will now be going into a time of intercession, and we will be praying for Iraq and Syria. On the screen, there are two scriptures, Philippians 2, 9 through 11, and 2, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 5. Uh, Philippians 2, 9 through 11 says, Therefore God has highly exalted him, Jesus Christ, and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Okay, 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. So as I share... As we inter go into intercession, let's keep these things in mind because what we are praying for is a pretty heavy and serious topic. So I ask that you would just repeat after me, okay? We confess Jesus Christ is Lord. Our weapons have divine power to destroy strongholds. Our weapons have divine power to destroy strongholds. So before we go into intercession, I'm just going to share um, some about what is going on in Iraq and Syria. If you've been uh, keeping up with the news, um, it's been in the news uh, a lot okay, this last year. Okay, um, in Iraq and Syria, there's a terrorist, uh, terrorist Islamic group um, called uh, ISIS, or Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. They now call themselves just Islamic State. And this is a group formed from the Al-Qaeda, uh, but um, they branched off. They're more violent and very strategic in what they are doing. Their goal is to establish uh, a Sunni Islamic is em empire in Syria and Iraq. Okay, and then um, on the picture, okay, shown is a map. Uh, and this is the yellow, just shows the, the land where ISIS has control over um, where they operate and then the red squares are the towns and cities where they're under complete control um, and the blue squares are towns and cities that are being uh, contended over okay? and as you can see from the picture they have a significant uh, control over um, part of Syria and Iraq uh, the ISIS have committed a lot of atrocities to minorities, such as beheading people, uh, massacres of pris prisoners, and trying to exterminate uh, Christian communities. Um, and then on August 6th, they took over the largest, Christ uh, largest Christian town, and many were killed. Um, some 
some have the choice to convert to Islam or be killed. Uh, and, and another minority group, the, um, they were targeted and many have fled to the mountain, but they lack uh, sufficient supplies. Uh, one reason why this group has um, such a strong foothold is they're not dependent on for, uh, foreign aid to survive. Um, they have built a mini state, so they have systems established in um, the land that they're able to consistently make income. They're able to make money. Um, and they also have control over uh, several oil, oil wells, and they receive a lot of private funding. And right now, uh, Western governments, they fear um, that these terrorist acts will be brought overseas okay, into their own nations. Um, the ISIS have recruited foreigners um, from different countries such as uh, Britain and France, Germany, and the United States. So people actually go over there so they can become a part of this group. Okay, so we will now be going into a time of intercession. So as I lead out in prayer, come into agreement uh, with me. There is power in agreement. And afterwards, please lift up your intercession to the Lord. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you just invade Iraq and Syria. We know that in your presence, there is freedom. We take our stand and come against false teachings, idolatry, and perversion of your truth. We nullify the works of the enemy and disallow these false beliefs from expanding. We command it to be stopped in Jesus' name. We speak forth a shift from darkness into light and declare eyes being opened. We pray for understanding the hearts of repentance and salvation among the ISIS members. Let's pray. Their deliverance. We disallow the spirit of violence and death. 
We declare safety and protection upon them and release peace, hope, and strength. Bring healing to their minds, bodies, and souls. Let's pray.
Lord, we, we declare that you are Lord and King. Lord, we know um, that you, as we see these evils and injustice being done, may there be just a holy anger rising up in our hearts. And as a response, that we respond in prayer, knowing that it's not done in vain, that in faith, that we know that your work is being accomplished in the land. We just seal the prayers that we're praying tonight. And we proclaim that yours is a victory and the glory. It belongs to you. May the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in faith, God, that truly nothing is impossible for you, God. Lord, you can allow um, a, to a, a complete nation, God, a one nation to fall to the ground in one day, but you can also build it up in one day, God. Father, we trust in the power and authority that you have, Father, by your name, by the work of the cross, Father, that you truly have overthrown the work of the enemy, Father. And we just trust, God, that, that you want good things for Iraq and Syria, God. You love Iraq and Syria, God, and you love your people, Lord. So we come in agreement with all your promises over this nation, God. And Lord, we say your will be done in Syria and Iraq as it is in heaven, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, God, that you do take us on this journey, Father, with so much love and so much hope. And Lord, uh, we declare here in this place that we are people of your praises. We are people of your promises, God. And Lord, as our hearts continue to thirst and hunger for you, Lord, we know that you never fail us. You always satisfy. So Lord, we come before you as people who are hungry, who are thirsty, who are yearning for you. And we say, Jesus, we want more of you. We say, Jesus, come have your way. Take your place. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness over our lives. And we love your presence, God. We love your presence. Continue to walk with us, Jesus. Continue to show us your heart for the nations. Yeah, we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, thank you, jo thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I hope that you get to, yeah, just really enjoy God's presence as you go home. I hope that you get to sing this song in your heart all throughout this week, and yeah, until we really see these prayers being answered before our eyes, we 
we are really pressing in for breakthrough for Iraq and Syria that God will really show up mightily in this nation. Um, yeah, let's be expectant and uh, yeah, I want to just I invite you guys to come on out tomorrow morning if you're also free. We have another set tomorrow morning at 9.30 here. Uh, otherwise, have a good night and uh, bless you as you go home. Thank you.